Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to discuss the warranty on tubular motors. Now I have one in front of me here, uh, which has been returned by a customer that um, was ordered incorrectly, um, so there was a mistake, no problem there. Um, but he then tried to solve it himself by trying to change the motor internally and that's where the problems start. Now the way the warranty works is that we, um, when something is wrong, like there's a manufacturing uh, error in the motor, um, what we do is we get the report, so the customer tells us something's wrong, um, we ship a new motor, get it back, return it to Sonfi, um, and then they either fix it or replace the motor with a new one. That one comes back, if it's a new one it goes into our stock, if it's a repair then we, uh, we put it in our um, basically B stock uh, and sell it at a discount. So the thing is that we are basically also relying on, on some of these rules and regulations regarding warranty um, and the use of motors, um, none of which are very strange rules, I have to say, um, but there's something you have to keep in mind. Now let's look at this motor to illustrate what the, these rules and regulations are. Um, now first of all, um, what we see here is there are some holes drilled into the motor in an effort to open it. Now that's one thing that, that voids the warranty and that's drilling into the motor. There's no need for it, you don't need to open it up. When there's a, um, an, a problem with the motor and your motor is still under warranty, then um, let us solve the problem, let Sonfi solve the problem and don't start drilling into it yourself. Because like I said, that voids the warranty. Same thing with this nice band that runs around the motor. Basically a screw has been inserted into the outside tube in order to uh, to secure the fixations uh, to the slats. Um, the screw has gone too far and when the motor rotates it basically scrapes out a part of the steel. Now nothing has happened so far in the sense that um, it doesn't affect the performance of the motor. If this continues too long it might cut open the motor completely and you'll have two parts and no power can be transferred to the tube anymore. Um, so that's an error and it's also something that Sonfi says, um, well sorry that's a wrong use of uh, the motor as it has not been installed as it should. Um, so that voids the warranty. And like I said it's a shame if you have something that's wrong internally and the warranty is voided because of this. So um, if you want to uh, secure the fixations to the slats in place uh, make sure you don't drill too far, uh, you don't insert the screws too far or um, use the one with the clips. We have uh, versions with a, with a clip um, and that wraps around the tube and um, needs no screws so um, just keep that in mind. Now another thing that, that, that voids the warranty is just opening the motor in general. Um, Yes, I know it's, uh, there are ways to open this if you know what you're doing, um, but it's something you shouldn't do when, um, uh, when the motor is still in the warranty. If you want to fix it outside the warranty period, fine. If you want to, um, want to change something, um, that's, that's, that's another issue if it's outside the warranty. If it's inside of the warranty period, just let us deal with it, because if you open it up, it voids the warranty, so that's just a shame. Um, another issue that, that we see happening often is, uh, is water getting inside of the, inside of the motor itself. Um, causing all sorts of problems as you can imagine. Um, so that's something to avoid as well. Um, in the case of, uh, of tubular motors for roller shutters and awnings, um, water running inside can easily be avoided by just uh, making sure that the cable um, is in this position when it's installed so that if there are any water drops they go to the lowest point and don't run this way inside of the motor. It doesn't happen easily because there's, there's, there's a plug inside and before you get to the actual motor you're a bit inside of the motor so um, a bit of water is not exactly immediately going to affect the motor but just avoid it and, and you know make sure the cable is in this position when you mount the, uh, the motor and you can avoid any sort of problem. So that's basically the rundown of the most common issues that you can have with warranty uh, and basically voiding the warranty. So keep that in mind and um, if there's any problem with the motor um, just let us know and if it's a motor that comes from us then we'll gladly replace it. Like I said we pre-ship the ones um, that are defective so as soon as you have a defective motor we ship a new one. You don't need to return it first, wait for weeks for repairs or some sort of status report. Now you get a new one straight away. Um, and then send, a, send the old one back to us as soon as you've done the exchange and then we'll take care of all the issues with some fee but yeah we would like to avoid any uh, discussions about whether it should be under warranty or not especially when there's something inside that's defective. Now if you have any questions about how to mount a motor to avoid these issues um, if you need a replacement motor or programming motor etc let me know. Um, you can either send an email to the email address which is in the description or you can leave a comment to the video and then I'll uh, hope to see you again in a new video.
Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.